or an iPad. And I actually have a an older um uh, I have an older like Galaxy tablet that I've never uh used really. Well I never really use. Um other than for like reading comics sometimes. And so I booted that up and I was able to download the Pokemon game and build decks and stuff. I was playing that last night before I went to sleep. I played a few, a, a good amount of games. It's actually pretty fun, even though it's all online. It was still cool. Pokemon game is super laggy on my PC. Yeah. Here we go. New and, Im and improved character created last night. Uh, I'm going to move that to logging notifications. Cool. All right. Let's uh, jump straight back into this. So last night uh, I did order a new headset or not a headset, but uh, headphones for working out and stuff now I'm looking forward to those coming in whenever they do um, honestly forget what kind of, I did a bunch of research and watched a few videos to see how uh, in-depth the padding is oh shit we got some people on oh, hey there Uh, where are we headed? Down there? Is that like over here or is it straight up on the island? Oh, use the herring to lure out, lure out the Nyx. There's it. There it is. Since uh, yesterday we hit uh, Summoner finally, <laughs> I can now use my uh, Summoner abilities, which is cool. Target is not in range. Get closer. There we go. Boom. Throw that up. Ripple is in the water. Catch your eye. Oh, God. That was quick. All right, back over here. And of course, okay, so they can't swim at all. Oh, my bad, Toes. <laughs> Why did it time you out for that? You stop repeating yourself? That's dumb. Hold on. <laughs> Can you fly that thing? Uh, not right the second. No, I can't. You have to be uh, a like a higher level or something uh where you have to complete like the main once i complete the main story for a realm reborn which is what i'm doing right now then i'll be able to in these areas but then the new areas you have to reach something to be able to fly
All right, let's see. So where's this person at? Oh, all the way back here again. Camp Tranquil. Make our way over there. Oh, it only time to uh time to have for 30 seconds. All right, so talk to this person. Today, I feel like today is going to be nice because we we have so much time to be able to play the game and story and everything. So uh, we'll be able to make a good amount of progress. Yeah, it does suck for now, but it'll be nice once I do hit a uh, once I hit the level that I need to because um, then uh, we'll be moving around a lot faster and that'll be cool I'm lucky that I have this mount actually Oh God. Nice. He's like barely doing anything. My mount's doing everything. It's nice cause the further you get uh, in levels and stuff, the more your your character or your mount moves faster, uh, too. So I feel like I am in this area at least moving a lot faster. Boom. How long would you take to complete the whole Final Fantasy 14 game? Uh, I think it's like a like story and everything. It might be like 35 40 hours or so uh, But then if you add in like the uh, Expansions and stuff, I think it extends that a lot Like a lot a lot it's Probably like a 100 hour thing I would think I mean, right now I'm probably, I don't know if it tells me how, how many hours I have in on this character, but my guess would be like maybe 25, 30 hours. Critical hit, direct hit and determination. Do critical hit, I guess. Uh, items. So, like, can I? Oh, that's Link. Um. So. Yo, what's going on, Ben? How you doing, man? Is there like every creature, it's like every creature 10 times larger than its regular size, high or L? Uh, it depends. Some are, some aren't. Some are tiny, some are big. I feel like the majority of them are like medium size though. Chilling, same man. One of those like kind of like laid back chill days i'd say not much going on so we're just chilling as usual i 
to travel the land and all that good stuff. Uh, I finally, last night, I hit the uh, level I was at uh, when I stopped playing this game originally. Looks like right now we're luring out a bunch of things. Killing them. That sandworm looks a little uh, intimidating there. Haha. <laughs> I literally go through my rotation one time and then they're dead already. Uh, that's materia, their bonuses to vary also stats like critical among other things. I wonder, so if I take this You get a low level, so oh, okay. Just got it. Win an Apple Watch. Five hundred dollars by doing something. Next. Do I play League of Legends? Uh, to be honest, no, nah, not really. Um, I don't play like a lot of like uh, normal games, in my opinion. Well, whatever your definition of normal is. <laughs> um, honestly, I play a lot of like just whatever. I don't play like like ca uh, not casual, but like. I guess you could say I don't play a lot of multiplayer games besides MMOs for the most part. Like I play co-op games and like some multiplayer stuff, but I don't like, like, um, I kind of don't like games like League of Legends and other stuff. Why does my keyboard look so like, my keyboard looks like oily right now and it's weird. I don't know why. I don't have anything on my hand either. What exactly does this ability do again? I know it like blinds people too sometimes, which is interesting. Uh, kill fire damage potency of 250. Honestly, about to move that up. Cause that's an instant cast. That. That. Uh, so, Bane spreads target and bio or bio <laughs> bio and masma affects the nearby enemies once is reduced by 60 percent for the all the remaining enemies uh the time remaining on the original effects 15 percent chance that bio and masma duration is reset if shorter than original effect duration no effect if target is not suffering from bio Inflicted by you. Okay. Got it. So it doesn't do anything if they're not affected by it. But it's a nice AoE ability that I have now. And it's it'll be a lot faster uh, spreading that. I like League of Legends, but I was wondering, uh, since it seems like everyone pretty much plays League, 
Yeah, see, that's like, I don't play like a lot of games that like everyone plays, in my opinion. I don't play Fortnite. I don't play like really Call of Duty. I don't play um, League of Legends, really Overwatch. I mean, I, like all of them I pretty much played at least one time. But I just don't have like the, I don't have the patience to continuously play one game over and over again, which is why like every week I play something new or almost every week. I just like jump everywhere a lot of times. But I, I, I like it like that in my opinion. There's too, there's too many good games out there to only stick with one. For me, especially. So. And I'll probably do like a longer stream tonight too, because Rachel is getting her, uh, she's getting a new tattoo tonight. So. Until then, it's just me and chat. <laughs> in uh every time i come here my gear is better than what they want to give me what level does uh wait I can move faster now. I think this is over and not uh, the realm reborn is over at level 40 or 50 and then the next one starts and then that one goes until I uh, Literally just have to come here and hand that in. Okay. Uh, okay, up there. Uh, missions. I like the grinding game because it's just satisfying and unlocking a bunch of stuff. I get that. I, I I understand like that stuff. Okay, so this goes until uh level 50. Okay. So we still got like 14 13 levels to go. And then from I see. And after that, there's the seventh astral era, and you have Heaven Sword, and then Dragon Song, and then Stormblood, and then the Legend Returns, and then Shadowbringers, and then Post Shadowbringers. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm in for it. Let's see. Wait, couldn't I technically take a thing over there? What is that wine port? Let's see if this can take me over to wine port. No. Okay, never mind. 
I wonder if I went here or even down here if you could go all the way up there because they're technically connected That is a giant buffalo. Uh, okay, speak with the person over there. Banging a left here. Ah. Ed, are you still chilling right now, man? Are you up to anything today? Did you get anything good for Christmas? Something you're not undisputed champion, so shut up, bitch. Ah! Yo, all wrong, my dude. Is that who I think it is? Is that the same person that I think it is? Join up here. Boom. All right, cool. Six minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe it is. <laughs> Yo, my dude. How art how art thou? How is life, dude? I've been seeing you know what's funny? I've been thinking about you a lot lately. And I'm sorry if that sounds weird. Um but uh I keep seeing your name at, like everywhere and I'm like, huh, I wonder how that dude's doing. I hope he's doing good. <laughs> Mr. What was it? What what was it? Uh Fierce Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I see you in the discord I see your like your name at the top of the online like my discord and then I saw I saw you playing uh, uh, some other game the other day too <laughs> how is everything how is uh, I hope you had a good Christmas man I feel like I like the last time I talked to you was like Christmas and everything back on PC. Nice. That's what it was. I think I remember you were like on uh, you. Did you go to Xbox for a while? Or did you just not play anything? I think you're on Xbox because I think I remember used to seeing you on whenever I'd open up like my Xbox um, Game Pass app on the PC or whatever. I saw you chilling in there a lot or something. Or you you'd play games every once in a while. Did you go to Xbox and then you were on there for a bit? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was on Xbox for a while and then uh a few years uh a few years ago I moved to PC. I made the big jump and then um yeah. All your friends move back to PC? Nice. Yeah, man, PC is where it's at, anyways. Meanwhile, while I have the issue of every time I turn my PC on, the audio doesn't work until I unplug the USB and plug it back in. But, uh, besides all that, it's good. Good stuff. I haven't played Final Fantasy 14 in a hot minute. Yeah, dude, it's, it's been, uh, an experience so far. I played it a while ago. Um, I, I tried it out for a while, and then I kind of got, I uh, I got bored pretty quick. Uh, and then yeah, I was like, you know what? I played Dragon Dragon's Dogma, 
like last week or two weeks ago and then playing that game reminded me of this game so then i was like you know what i think i'm gonna go back and i saw a bunch of activities going on for christmas in uh the final fantasy world on twitter and then that kind of pushed me over the edge and was like all right go back play it enjoy it and try it so here i am had a max pally summoner slash scholar that's literally what i'm playing <laughs> Love that game. Can't wait for number two. Yeah, that's what I that's what I've been uh, hearing about. I, I had it for so long. I just never actually played it or no, 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 I didn't have it for a while. I always get it mixed up with the there's another game that's like similar to it. Um, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But yeah, man, it's good stuff. Glad to see you're back on the uh, PC, man always good times <laughs> been off and on uh, Swotor same I was just playing it the other week actually um i logged in and i did some of the new stuff and then the the new flashpoint was an absolute mess so i um i was like you know what? i'm gonna come back to this when the games uh or when they patch it out or whatever and i kind of put it down then but um i was playing a, a new bounty hunter i started that i didn't actually finish but I was playing that for a little bit. That was fun. Uh, and then, yeah, I kind of was only on there for like a week. But, man, I, st I still love that game. It's still one of my favorites ever. I still would say it's my favorite MMO ever, for sure. Such a, such a good game. Such a, a fun game. Can I cast Glamour on this? I can. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me see. Do you actually have any better stuff? We do. Ah, uh huh. Ah, uh huh, huh, huh. I'm only gear level 24. Meanwhile, I'm level 37. Jeez. Uh,. It's where we met back way back in the day. Yeah, dude, I remember. I still remember some, uh, I remember you. And I remember uh, the guy that played as Cassus. Like the Cass, like C-A-S-S-U-S. -S I remember that guy. Uh, that's kind of really, that's really, <laughs> to be honest, that's probably all I remember. You being the most, uh, uh, the most I remember because we stayed friends on like Steam and everything else for a while for so long so always cool being able to to catch up with people I wonder what my uh, my old buddies from Halo 3 are doing nowadays <laughs> I was the Paco healer Everyone wanted me. <laughs> were you play what uh what class were you mainly? Were you uh operative? Op Okay. Nice. I remember always wishing that I made an operative instead of my sniper. But I did love my sniper as well. So and the average time moved up. Uh, I could. <laughs> the funny thing is, since I am a uh, a summoner, I could literally just switch to scholar and probably get instant viewed for this and get it done in a second. But I don't know how to heal in this. <laughs> Anyways, op, and then I had a jug tank and a bounty hunter tank. Okay. Or in a 
Yeah, BH tank. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, jug, juggernaut tank and a bounty hunter tank. <laughs> Healing is easy. Scholar is a group healer. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. So, if I wanted to do this, I know first I would have to change it up. God. There's so much stuff here. Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. Put that there. Uh. Uh, gradually stores the HP of all party members. Okay. So is that a, that's an instant ability. Need your healing pet out. Is there a healing pet? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, they turn into, ah. Suffer damage. Fight at your side. Fight at your side. Which one's better? Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna put out this Q patrol. I think Celine. Celine, I mean. <laughs> well, let's see. So, this one, or Celine? Yos or Celine? Casts Embrace on party members who suffer damage. And this one... Automatically casts... Automatically... They have the same description on both of them. And it doesn't really say the difference between the two. Selene or Eos. There's no difference between them anymore. <laughs> Celine used to have actions like haste and a way to cure silence, but Eos was preferred since additional healing allowed the actual healers more DPS uptime. Since few people bothered with Celine, they deleted her kit and made her, made her the same as Eos. <laughs> Apparently the same now. Or at least that's what Google says. So, uh, virtually stores the. Okay, so that orders this thing to do that. Um, stores target HP. So I'm going to make that my number one. So as a healer, I'm guessing that my primary role is to heal. And that all damage abilities should be placed secondary. I'm assuming. Heal and debuff the boss. Let's put that there. So this one. Drop that, drop that. All right, let's try it. <laughs> let's give it a shot. Join. Instant Q. <laughs> okay. Sounds good to me. Got this. I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Well, don't let the tank die. True. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I'll do my best.
I'm assuming that Okay, I, th I think we got this. I think we got this. It's gonna keep uh, targeting them. I think we're doing okay. I th I think we're all right. My uh, okay, so it is here. like constantly watching this up here. I need to re-download this. It's pretty fun so far, I'd say. I'm having a, a good time. As someone who's just like, kind of playing for the first time. Well, second time, technically, so. This isn't too bad. I uh, I like how your uh, thing can actually like do a good amount of stuff for you. So it, it definitely helps out a lot. Uh, your your fairy thing. I just level up. this meant to so this uh removes a debuff off of them i just realized how uh low you run on uh attacks sometime or uh mana Seems like we're doing good. I, 
I like barely see the other guys take any damage. I I'm like kind of confused whether or not I should uh like do try to do any attacks or not or or just continuously heal. I mean I'm just focusing on the tank for the most part. Nice. Oh nice. Level up. Thirty eight. Cheap healing so, uh, spell, unless you need the big ones. Uh, okay. Self on that one. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, I was overly really panicking. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Not bad. Not bad. Healing can be really fun. Yeah, I mean, it's always been like, personally, I, like, I've always liked being healers in games that I've I've played in the past. It's just I'm always nervous that I'm gonna do bad and somebody's gonna be like, "Yo, healer, you suck." Meanwhile, when you just do damage, like your primary role is just doing damage. It's that part of me that makes me anxious that like I'm gonna do something wrong or not be doing good enough. And I'm not going to satisfy my team. Even though I shouldn't care about that because I should be able to just like do my thing. <laughs> People can be, yeah. That's how I feel too. Like no matter what, like people are always going to complain. So at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. But yeah. I can't tell if this thing is actually healing them or if it's uh, only activated by me. Ah, oh, shoot. DPS uh, die in games because they didn't move or pull before the day and then tell me I suck <laughs> true I've definitely had that that before too I've had that a few times where I walked into somewhere and then I was like I was never the one to be like yo healer you suck but I've had it a few times myself being like yeah You know, get myself into trouble without focusing. Make sure a pet is set to guard. Yeah, it is.
It's funny how instant Q it was. That's why I love healer or tank. You can't do things and not wait. <laughs> ah, fuck that all the way. All up. <laughs> you can do things and not have to wait. Yeah, I know. I got you. <laughs> Like you, can, you can run in there and just like full fledge everything and everyone else does like all a lot of the other damage for you At 35, you should get an AOE healing spell. Right now, yeah, I'm, I'm 38 right now, but it looks like uh, this this quest right now we're in is uh, locked to 34 maximum. Oh, so, uh, for scholar or for summer? Wait, what? Scholar. Okay. It's actually really funny how like just watching this right now, seeing how little damage that uh, DPS people actually take. Oh, gets. Oh, Scholar gets so cur. God. Does it show up in here? I wonder. Ooh, is this it? It's the final uh, sequence. Only Pat's. Oh God. Oh God, they're already in there. Oh God. I got them heals. At least I'm healing better than Donald Duck does in uh, Kingdom Hearts. If I can heal better than Donald, then I think I'll be okay. <laughs> ah! I got you, mate. I got you. I got you too.
Oh no, I'm out of like heals. Oh God. Oh God. Get out the green stuff. Get out the green stuff. Oh my God. I can't do anything else. Wait, what happened? I think we beat it. Looking at my account, the last time I played was 2017. Jeez. I think the last time I played before all this was, uh, uh, GG. Not, not bad. I think I might have to do that from now on. Just swap over to uh, the new class and stuff. Uh, oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have it. It's a core. Restores own, restores own HP and HP of all party members. But I think I need to do the main like this last remnants quest in order to get that because i'm level 38 right now and i don't have it but i do have this one i'm gonna swap those two so now The job quest? Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't played, I'm on ship two for that. Uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. That's what I think I saw you playing. Is that it? Is that it? I get it? Aha. Good. Thanks. I haven't played that game before, but I, you're the second person that I kind of know, well, well, that I know that's been playing it. There's another, like, uh, uh, some guild people I used to play with on Black Desert that, like, hit me up the one day and were like, yo, you should play Final Fan uh, Fantasy Star Online. Looking forward to Outriders. Uh, let me take this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. This one, I, I can't do this next quest until I, I do like another, uh, Uh, it's a dungeon. I forget what it's called though. I uh, hand the note in a okay, wine port. I did some on BDO. It's fun, but I want more PVE. The only PVP I ever liked was Swotor. True. I I agree. Um, and I'm I don't really like PVP. <laughs> but uh, yeah, also like the whole thing with uh, Black Desert is like the complexity there is it has and everything i mean it's still like fun game but not 100 100 my style that's one of the reasons why i stopped i really liked arcade like arcade unchained i really enjoyed a lot um, I thought it was a lot of fun and uh, I forget what classes there are, but I thought they were really cool and then all of a sudden Like I got to this one part where I was literally just trying to do the stupid story quest and every time I would try to do it 
the area was I was in was at war. So then I would I would make it 15 minutes to the next spot, like get a few kills uh, on whatever my quest objective was, and then I would get completely destroyed. And I was like, all right, this isn't fun anymore. Like just getting wrecked ever. Uh, it's it's like mandatory PVP and people can be like so over leveled from you. Um, so like when I was playing it, uh, it used to. So basically, Arcade, uh, do you know Arcade at all? This has like a, a quick recap on it. Uh, kinda. So originally, from my understanding, the original game released and it was free to play, and then it super it came became super like pay to win. So everyone was like starting to hate it, but then like people still played it anyways. And then they were like, "Hey, we're gonna re-release it." Like the company got bought out, and then the company that bought it were like, "Hey, we're gonna re-release the game, but we're gonna put it as a pay to play, like or like pay." Uh, or buy to play, I think it's called. So like you buy the game one time and then you can play it. Um, and they removed like all the, the free to play like uh, aspect to it and stuff. So I bought it and it has like a pretty cool like customization options and everything. And um, yeah, just going into the game. It's fun and all, but then I, I ran into that issue where it literally was like, um, your, uh, the mandatory PVP is what really, uh, kind of started to, to tear at me. Especially like I get it. If you're, if you're out there, like you can toggle yourself. Uh, on or off for PvP options, but this game it's literally required. Like if you're in an area and you're questing, and that area goes into wartime, and your faction is not doing as well as the other faction, you're screwed. Like there's literally in it, and it's like a two-hour war timer or like 45 minutes or something like that. So then you're just constantly trying to do your quest, and then all of a sudden, boom, you get killed. You get spotted, you're killed, and then you respawn all the way at the, uh, your, like, factions, uh, safe space area. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I don't like forced PvP. I, uh, I like PvP, but I want it on my own terms. Exactly. I honestly, like, probably would still be playing that game. Um. Uh, if it wasn't for that, like I would jump in every once in a while, but I don't know. I want to say maybe they changed something, but I haven't logged in in a very long time. Um, did you see uh, New World at all? Did you play New World at all? I am really, really looking forward to that game. Not gonna lie. I think it looks I, and it, I played it, so I got a key for it uh, while watching one of the guys that I, uh, Lyric, I watch him a good amount, and um, he dropped a bunch of keys in his Discord, and I was able to snag two of them for me and my buddy to play, and uh, we are, we played a, a good amount of it, and it's probably one of my favorite, like, MMO, like, uh, Uh, like beta is combat I've ever played in a long time and it has like a, a decent like setup and stuff um, I was I was really surprised at its state for it that it was in for it being just like technically an alpha like it was crazy the amount of quests and objectives you could do um, and like there was actually some end game content too like i am honestly surprised that game is not out today like right right now uh but it seems like they want to keep uh working on it before they fully release and honestly props to them for doing so i think that game's gonna came, come out in like a, a great state 
like just by playing it um at the time that i did i think that that in itself uh i played it for free and i feel like i ripped them off <laughs> because of how much fun i was having with it yeah it's uh 40 dollars like what i played in itself 100 percent, i would say it was worth 40 dollars if not like this full 60 but the game i think is going to release at 40. so when it does that's 100 percent. if it's so long as it's like along the lines and they don't change too much um along the lines from like what i played then it, it will uh absolutely be worth it in my opinion the other funny thing is too is like my buddy was playing like a um uh like the fire class or whatever and typically like in video games i i've always or like mmos uh if it's fantasy i i always go like um magic but recently i found myself find like having a lot a lot of fun uh experiment experimenting with more of like a like archer class and like a uh, like anything that uses axes basically or hatchets so for that game I constantly swapped back and forth between using a uh, dual hatchets and um, the musket and the uh, bow and arrow and I was having so much fun with it it's it does that thing where Skyrim like does where you can equip any weapon at any time there's no like locked um things it's just how much how much of a level that weapon actually has and how many skills you have with that weapon but you can change it out at any time and start using something else and then start leveling that uh item category with it that was so much fun dude i can't wait for that game I'm really looking forward to that. It, it was a really cool setting and everything too. Uh, Ruin 2. Oh, this is an instant ability. About to throw it down here. Starting to get a lot of uh, things here. I ordered a, uh, a new cable for my I still have my old uh, Star Wars The Old Republic mouse that I use every once in a while, but the cable is like being eaten alive, basically. So uh, I ordered a new one for it. Here it is, a little gross. Here, I, here it is while I drop it. Let me just drop it harder onto my table. <laughs> but uh, it, it still works pretty good, as long as that didn't break it. But no, it seems fine. I love this thing still to this day. It's technically the Razer, uh, what, the Razer Naga? But right now I'm, I'm just using a regular FPS mouse. So it's getting a little bit harder to, to hit all these things down here without the buttons on the side. Collect the palm wine. Okay, there's one. I have, uh, I just have a hat signed by the whole team who made Swotor. That's sick. That's really cool. I, I love uh, finding like that kind of stuff. You know, it's funny, earlier this year, I literally found, um, so I was just like browsing through eBay, like looking at Star Wars stuff. Um, and I literally found a collector's edition box that somebody was selling and they had it at a bidding price. And I was the only person to bid on it for $17 and I won. And they actually shipped it and everything. Like they only had it open for a few days. 
and nobody else bid on it at all and somehow got it but it didn't have the it had everything except for the collector's code which is totally fine with me um but i got the darth malgus statue i got like all the concept art um all that stuff and i actually behind here i have the uh darth malgus statue with me yeah i went to the midnight release for sword tour and the game was made uh, here in Texas, so the whole team was at Best Buy, so I got them to sign a Star Wars hat. That's sick. Dude, that's awesome. Texas is, um, I know so many people from Texas now. Now that I think about it, if I ever move to Texas, I'm gonna have so many friends. Because <laughs> I know so many people that live in Texas. Uh, <laughs> it is, uh, Texas actually is one of those spots that I wouldn't mind moving to. Um, there's only a select few, and Texas is one of them. I ended up giving it to my dad because he loved the game. I have a few friends up in PA. <laughs> and Cali. I would never, ever, ever move to Cali. But Texas, I can do. <laughs> my, uh... I have a, not a, a bunch of friends, but I have like two or three friends. Yeah, I feel like, well, um, <laughs> I don't know who would want to move to Cali unless you're rich. I feel like even rich people don't want to live in Cali. They're just there for like the connections that they have probably out there. Like I, I saw I was watching what it was. I think it was XQC. He was watching a video and it was like basic people that aren't like they, they make a lot of money, but they're not like celebrities or anything. And they're like, yeah, we're moving to uh, to Arizona and I'm getting paid the same amount, but we're paying like one third of the price on that uh, for like the place that they're moving to. Like, that's insane, dude. It's an absolutely like wild. Uh, places I wouldn't mind moving to are Florida, um, Florida, Texas, and Arizona. Those are the three I, uh, if I could move to, do Florida, dude, same, but it's too nice down there for me to like florida is crazy i get it and it's weird and all their stuff but i don't care dude it's too nice out there all the time like it's it's beautiful there like every day and like the weather is like actually nice besides like the hurricanes every once in a while but uh besides that dude it's it's too nice <laughs> what's classy if you're rich and trashy if you're poor florida true <laughs> true i mean honestly you could say the same thing about just in general philadelphia you could apply, apply that same exact thing to philadelphia classy if you're rich and <laughs> trashy if you're poor <laughs> I feel like you have when it comes to Pennsylvania you have Philadelphia and then you have the entire outskirts which is all like a bunch of like um a lot of red rednecks and all this other stuff surprisingly a lot but, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm 
<clears throat> I wouldn't mind moving to like Austin though. I've been thinking about Austin, Texas um, for a while now. There's a lot of uh, streamers that live out there. Yeah. See, like, I also feel like you guys get a lot of, like, pretty nice weather, and it's pretty chill. Just from what I know about Texas, so. Sir Clay. True. I don't know. I'd have to uh, convince my girlfriend someday. But uh, I don't know. I would like to move like somewhere where it's it's hotter more year round. I hate the snow so much. I know I have a Subaru and everything, but I, I hate the snow so much and I hate the cold. I hate it. Like this year, it hasn't been so, it hasn't been bad so far. Um, as far as weather, but like I have like a burning passion of hatred for that stuff. I, I hate having to worry about like when it does snow, like, okay, am I gonna, is my plans gonna get ruined? Cause it's gonna snow and it's gonna be gross and other stuff um like are you gonna is the snow going to stop me from getting to work is it gonna stop me from getting home like i literally hate that shit so much just like no i just want to move somewhere that's nice all the time 75 80 degrees every single day like it's okay if it gets to 90 i'm all right with that too like just get me out Get me out of here and somewhere with a good internet connection, which is the one place where uh, Florida becomes an issue because Florida has um, has that. But everything is so cheap there, too, dude. It's like, ah, uh, uh, it's so cheap. I don't know what Austin is like. Austin is gigabit. Yeah, I mean, like, right now I have gigabit and everything, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, it isn't the most expensive, but it's also, like, Austin, it's expensive. Yeah, so, like, Florida is so cheap, though, but, like, houses and everything. I don't know. One day I would like to move somewhere, to be honest. Somewhere cheap and somewhere like, uh, like tech advanced. Arizona is another really good one, which is probably why my buddy, I, I have one friend um, who does a lot of car stuff actually that moved to, to Arizona. And from what it what I see, what he does and everything, it seems like he likes it a lot. There's a lot of towns around Austin that aren't bad, or that are bad, like as in like crime bad, or like as in. Um, that aren't bad. Oh God, what the hell is that? That aren't bad. Okay, okay. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure if you meant are bad or aren't. Like price. Okay. Yeah, I mean like personally, like I probably wouldn't want to be like uh, directly in, in the city anyways. Like outskirts, I always think like if I if I thought of Phoenix, Arizona, like I would want to find a place out of Phoenix, Arizona. 
where if I said Austin, I would want to play, find a place out of Austin. Same thing with like Miami. Like I would want to find a place out of Miami. If it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't have, uh, I would have, I wouldn't have had to move back home. Yeah. Oh, wait, this year has been rough, man. Weird ass year, but trying to just make it through, you know. Used to do uh this is it the navel i had to do this for uh let's see how long this one is all right let's go heal <laughs> healing it is withdraw grab this one Whoops, I'm over here, uh, healing myself. What's that? I go into the field for my degree and COVID kicked in and I got let, got let go two months into the job because they couldn't afford to keep new people on. Yeah, dude, pretty much similar situation happened to me. I got like a job that I've been looking for for like towards the end of 2019. I got a new job and uh, I was like so happy and everything and starting to look at houses and all that and then COVID hit and I got laid off as well because I was like one of their newer people and they I guess they didn't want to uh you know have to deal with that or afford it they definitely I think they could have afforded it but they yeah uh they wanted to cut their losses or cut their costs so Happened to me too, man. Shit sucks. Some healing, this shouldn't be too bad. Be quick. I'm stuck.
This isn't too bad. totally forgot that I had an ability that gradually restores uh, HP. Nice. Stone. Oh, oh. Nice. Leave duty. Wait, there's Ruin 1 and Ruin 2. Why is this one? Oh, this one's instant. And that one costs more, but it, the instant one does 150. Interesting. Ah. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, let me go knock this one out. This will unlock a new ability too. I might do the scholar one as well. So we'll at least get energy siphon and level 40 outburst. All right, uh, we can go over to, so it's up here right by the Machitos area.
So many bangers. It's gonna be weird seeing this area without uh uh Uh, without all the the stuff here. Got it. All right, so go knock out this down here. Boom, bang. Might knock out both uh, job quests while I'm at it. And then go back to the uh, MSQ. So, now we head down south. jamming out there. Oh God. Well done. Bam, bam. Feet the dark summoner. Oh god, another one. Oh no! Ooh. 
Move, move, move. Oh God, I can't move. What the heck? I can't move. Almost got it. Nice. I oh, should have fought this uh, one after this guy instead then. All right, this one I'm, uh, I'll, I'll watch. Why do you struggle so? Delay is the ine inevitable. Need my avatar of internal flame incinerate. Vile black card. Do I have that thing as a, uh, a pet now? You can now summon Titan E. Nice. I think I read a thing that's all that most people use the free though. So but that's still cool. Cool to have at least. Then I go back to her. There it is. Summon three. That's crazy. You get you get abilities all the way up to the end. Is oh nice at level forty, uh, the pets get new abilities. Shining topaz, glittering emerald. Flaming Crush. That's sick. Inferno. It's at level 50. Nice. Ah, crap. I forgot that we could have <laughs> we could have used the thing, but that's okay. Not like we're going too far the the uh, without using the Ethernet. just sitting by the water <laughs> a lot of people that do things like that learn a new summoning spell nice energy siphon when you have a soul summoner equipped cast this spell siphon or summon two for that nice. oh and we have another one yeah look at them they're just two hat girls sitting by the water enjoying their lives with a little damal calf <laughs> oh 
Oh, nice. I, right here. We are both of our quests over here? Nah, it's this one. Okay. This uh, unlocks Outcast for us. Or I believe it was Outcast, I think. So now Summon 2 uh, gives me this, I think. The Titan. Yeah. And what does it do? What does it do as, as it's special? Uh, yeah, so it's basically a... Um, a tank reminds me of like the void walker from uh wow it's right underneath me there they are former immortal flame wow betrayed how could you? Hey, what if I just run? Can I just run? I can literally just run instead of dealing with it. What I let me see what quests. So this is level thirty-four. Okay. I'm level forty, but my quest is level thirty-four. It's pretty nice though. We've um we've gotten through a lot of the main story quest and other stuff being over leveled and I think that's that's definitely helped out a lot. There they are still sinning. Nice. Press complete. New summoner ability unlocked. Or new summoning spell. Perfect. Alright, so next time is level 45. Sounds good. Uh, so, oh god. He's filled up really fast. So, what do we have here? Now we have a few other things. Let's change these around. <laughs> Wait, can I see? you uh okay so energy drain yes yes oh this shares a recast timer with energy siphon Deals un uh, unaspected damage with a potency of 40 to target all enemies nearby it of 100 and target all enemies nearby it. Okay. Target is suffering from that you or 300 for both effect only applies when the original spells were cast by you. Um... Additional effect Aether Flow 2. Deals unaspected damage with a potency of 70 to all targets and enemies nearby. 
Okay, so these are AoE abilities, which is nice. Uh, deals fire damage to all nearby enemies with a potency of 250 for the first enemy and 50% less for all remaining enemies. Okay. Another AoE ability. Cool. We're really starting to get a lot of AoE stuff, which is nice. Uh, let me swap these. Actually, is there a guide? Uh... I be somewhere. Hide. Roll action, swift cast, lucid dreaming, traits. Uh, Aether Flow Gauge. Whoa. We'll cast this here already 40. Halfway there. Let's see if I can find a rotation guide for these. Wait, you guys? Uh, rotation. There we go. Let's see, so right now I'm on Ock Morning. <laughs> Don't worry about rotations until you're max level. Okay. Some of these abilities I don't have. Bio and that I don't have. Or aimed at your stats and stuff. Okay. Okie dokie. About leveling up. Ah, here we go. Oh, nice. There is a um, primary goal. So 1 to 29, 30 to... Oh, sick. Wow, this... Okay, hold up. Let me save this real quick. Because this place actually has some good uh, level guides. Okay. Go to... But if you have any questions when to use certain abilities, I can help. Uh, let me see. So Final Fantasy 14, boom. Okay, cool. And let me save this summoner guide. Summoner. Boom, boom. Okay, so level on um, 40 now. Art cast, that one. Okay, so I actually have that set up. Then bio. And use energy drain into fester. Into fester. Okay. Then hard cast ruin. Then cast EG assault one. Uh, 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 EG Assault 1. Cast, then that, then that, then that. Is EG Assault 1. Oh. I think it's oh the, the okay if is summon crimson cyclone if you okay 
So that's the Assault 1 ability, which is this guy. And then... Hey. <laughs> What's going on, Akiko? Uh, then... Esther again. Then EG Assault 2. Then Ruin. And Ruin. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. It's interesting. Oh, uh, so that's... So I was just curious. I, I'm Because I, I want to kind of like get into it a little bit. I found this guide. Just by Googling. Just for leveling up as a summoner. And... So I'm going to follow this for now. Just at least until... What the, so this is like from 40 to 49 and then and it's actually kind of cool like it tells it helps you leveling just I just want to make sure I'm getting as much as I can until then uh, so then 40 to 49 rotation is on reaching level 40 you'll gain outburst which I just got become your filler during AOE rotations, and then you also gain blah 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 and blah blah blah. Uh, 45 quest you unlock a EGI transformation. Garuda. Garuda. Replace Emerald. Okay. From this point forward, should be prioritized as such. Is there a, um, do people use this a lot? Garuda? Filler meaning if you don't have any AoE, you can just use it for fun. Okay. Um, What's the, the most common uh, summoner like uh, thing that people use? What did I just grab? Oh, I just grabbed that. It is used for trash pulls and tons of AOE. Okay. I thought you were about to say Garuda is trash. <laughs> and I was going to be like, what? No, but it's used for trash pulls and tons of AOE. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I just noticed like literally every single ability I just got is like AOE stuff. And it's pretty crazy. Okay, so they're saying that. So I don't even use these. According to this thing, their normal dungeon run would be Garuda for trash and Ifrit for bosses. You almost never really use Titan. Yeah, I just unlocked them and I was like, okay. <laughs> I kind of like feel like that from the beginning, to be honest. So energy siphon doesn't seem like it's ever going to be used, at least right now. Uh, Bane or this thing. But I was really enjoying Bane when I was using it. Let's see if... Jeez. <laughs> Way back when Titan was your tank. GI and he could tank mobs for you, but now he's just support. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I kind of got that vibe. I will say he reminded me of. I didn't play a ton of WoW, but he reminded me of uh, the Void Walker from WoW. Just for. Uh... Oh, okay, right here it does say. For it, uh, look for AoE opportunities. Use Bane, Energy Siphon, and Outburst where out. App, uh, app, applicable. Oh my god, I can't say words. Got it. <laughs> What's the point of Ruin 2? It's the same thing as Ruin 1, but it's an instant cast and it does 20 less potency. Hank, uh... Back in the day, I seen EG as a save a raid when a tank went down. The good old days. Tank EG was such a clutch for when tanks die. Huh. 
It's interesting how they changed it up then by that much. I did, uh, so in order to get that instant cue, <laughs> there's a few times where I did, uh, some good old, let me move this down here. Uh, I did some good old healing. I actually, I, I'd say I did all right, you know? I did okay. I think I did okay. I my my standard is if I do better than Donald Duck in Kingdom Hearts, then I'm okay. I should be set. So I think I did a little bit better than that, and nobody died. So I think I think we're good. <laughs> I'm actually gonna since I just finished those two. Quest, I'm gonna swap out into this and then knock out this because I should have like two um, uh, two more abilities I learned from doing the summoner quest but it went well I'd say it it went as good as I, I'd expect it to go so if you want you can save gear sets so you can just swap to the set I think I will probably later on but I think right now oh really oh wait wait, wait. Ah. instead of changing the stone well, let me see so whoops not glamour plate you could do like this and just make it but then is there a way aha I had a gear set for every job. I think probably majority of people do too, right? But I th I do think that's probably the fastest way, right? Aft castle. Yeah, it's pretty common. I have a hot bar strictly for my glasses. I did see that actually. Um, not yours specifically, but I saw that I, I did see somebody like when I watched a, um, like one of those tip videos, they had it down here or something. And they literally had like every single, uh, look or job and they could just click between each, which is really cool. In my opinion, it's like another one of those, like, Damn. I have to redownload. I stopped when Sam came out. I have not done any of the. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm really looking forward to all of the like extra. Wait, why did I just come here? Wait, am I in the right area? No, I'm not even right in there area. Wait, what? Why did I come over here? He gets to the Marauders Guild. I have collapsible hot bar macros when I, uh, when it can show and hide the hot bars. The handy macro to keep your HUD clean. That's pretty cool. I don't remember the last game I ever played that like used a lot of macros. I don't think I ever really got into like making macros and stuff too, or like even using them, but I've always been okay with it. We go here and um, real quick, I'm gonna first it was overwhelming but honestly having them save my life no actually the one game that I did have a lot of macros for and probably the last game that I did was actually uh, now that I think of it definitely Star Wars Galaxies because I remember you could have macros built in to do like the dance stuff and you could hit level 90 so fast if you create an entertainer 
top because I couldn't find a community that I fit with. Like I want to raid, but I also want to be lax. Yeah, you should join, uh, join us. I was just out there in the wild looking for a home and the uh, Zorian horror story found me. <laughs> They're what I uh, server. Not not database, but they are server. No, unfortunately, they're not cross server. I found that out pretty early on. <laughs> I do kind of find that weird that they're not. Um, but hold on one second. I'm going to go check uh, something and actually fill up my drink as well. And then I'll 